let's start as the name suggests this algorithm is called linear regression and the reason why it's called linear regression as the name suggests is it's based on the concept of a line a line a plane a hyperplane we call it by these names okay so uh, to begin with i need to ask you whether you know how a line is represented line line in mathematics are you all comfortable with this all right so uh, let's start imagine i give you two dimensions this is x x is your one of your independent attributes we call it columns in our data frame right so i have loaded a data from a table into my data frame and one of the columns in the data frame i call it x this is my independent variable the other column which i want to predict the target column i call it y could be anything y could be the miles per gallon and x could be the weight of the car the more the weight of the car the less the miles per gallon right so y is my dependent variable x is my independent variable imagine this x has 4 5 6 these are the units 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the measurements of x and let's assume for sake of discussion let's assume that whenever x is 1 y is also 1 so whenever x is 1 y is also 1 that is what you are seeing in the data you take another record there you see x is equal to 2 then y is is all y is also equal to 2 take the third one x is 3 y is is also 3 so when you try to draw a line a relationship between them you see it's a straight line the straight line tells you the relationship between x and y how are these two related to each other we in data science call these things as models models are nothing but surfaces in your feature space what is a feature space feature space is collection of your independent attributes and the dependent attribute you are trying to explore how this y and this x interact with each other that interaction is what we represented as models so models are nothing but lines surfaces hypersurfaces in your feature space so when you build k nearest neighbors okay in k nearest neighbors you have different classes of data points suppose these are different classes okay and okay let me make it slightly more complex what k nearest neighbor does is we call it breaking your mathematical space into regions it breaks your mathematical space into regions so it says this region belongs to the circular point this region belongs to the triangular point and has things on the wrong side k nearest neighbors splits your mathematical space into regions those regions are called voronoi regions so this imaginary surface is the model in k nearest neighbor so in linear regression this line which represents the relationship in x and y this line is my model so i want to predict the value of y given the value of x what the line is saying is y is equal to x so the prediction is whenever x is some value y will also be the same value can i write this expression as y equal to 1x does it make any difference 1 into x this one in mathematics it has a meaning this one is nothing but this angle that line makes with the x axis the tan of that angle of that angle into x whenever y is equal to x this angle will always be 45 degrees 
okay and in trigonometry tan of 45 is always 1 now you might be wondering what is this trigonometry tan t and all these are all jargons actually it's all common sense <coughs> look at this when we studied in school we came across trigonometry in trigonometry we came across sin theta cos theta tan theta what are these sin theta cos theta tan theta what are these things these are names given to certain ratios so tan theta is tan means the ratio between we show it as dy by dx how much y changes whenever x changes by one unit that ratio is called tan how much y changes when x changes by one unit how much y changes in this graph when x changes by one unit so one by one is equal to one dy by dx how much y changes by small change in x one unit change in x that ratio is called tan theta sounds very high fi but that's what it is okay so whenever both of them synchronize whenever x changes by one y changes by one it will always happen when this angle is 45 so we say the tan of 45 is one so when you say tan of 45 dy by dx will be 1 by 1 it will always be 1 all right let me modify this a bit so right now this expression is represented as m okay this is a standard practice where we represent it as m so y equal to mx is the expression mathematical expression of this line suppose I put a line here okay and it's parallel to this line it's parallel to this line okay which means this line is also making 45 degrees to the line parallel to x-axis I'm not going to show this line here okay just to make it less cumbersome so I have another line here this is L1 this is L2 now can I say y equal to x when x is 0 y is not 0 y is 2 when correct when x is 1 y is not 1 y is 3 when x is 2 y is not 2 y is 4 so we add a constant to this this constant is equal to 2 right now for this line this constant is nothing but what is the value of y when x is 0 what is the value of y when x is 0 that is called c it also goes by the name of intercept where in your mathematical space on the y dimension where on the y dimension does the line intercept or cut the y-axis so this is the generic equation of a line y equal to mx plus c it tells you how y and x are related to each other if you look at this line l1 if you look at l1 then this becomes 0 so y equal to mx if you look at l2 l2 this becomes not 0 but 2 so this relation continues to remain same in both the cases the m is same m is nothing but tan of the 45 degrees we call it slope right so this is the generic equation one way of representing a line y equal to mx plus c so in this expression y is given in your data set it's a target column x is given in your data set it is the independent columns the independent attributes from this data that you have given to the algorithm 
the algorithm has found out for you the m and the c. We call these coefficients. Coefficients of the model. This m and the c, they reflect the relationship between y and x in your data set. So the m and the c is what forms the model for you. Shall I complicate it a bit more? Hmm? We'll complicate it a bit more. Suppose instead of having one, or let me let me just continue with this only. So you have one target variable y, one x. In this case, tan of 45 happened to be one. But suppose your line is like this. It's a straight line, but it's not at 45 degrees, it's at 15 degrees. Right? Then in that case also the equation of the line will be y equal to m x. The reason why I'm not putting c is c is 0 here. c is 0. You can put c, but c is 0. And this angle m, this value of m, will not be 1. It will be 1 only when it's 45 degrees. It's less than 45 degrees, so tan of 15 degrees into 1, into x plus c. This will be equation of this line. What is tan theta? Tan theta is nothing but how much y changes for one unit change in x. We call it tan. Okay. All right. Let's complicate this a bit more. Suppose instead of only one variable x, now you have x1 and you have another variable x2. And you have only one dependent variable y. In such case, the algorithm will find out the relationship between x1 and y, x2 and y. So it will express that relationship as y equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 and there will be only one constant term because now instead of having a line, you will have a plane where the plane goes through the y-axis at some point, it cuts the y-axis at some point. So now you have two edges. One edge is on x2, the other edge is on x1. The two edges may have different slopes, different angles with x-axis. Those are reflected over here as m1, m2. The c continues to be the same c. Where is the plane cutting the y-axis, which means what is the value of y when x1 and x2 are 0? That is called the intercept. So we are going to have only one plane, like we can't have a multiple plane, like in, in case of a 3 two. In case of? Like if we have a z also, so yeah. then can we, can we, we will be having a... It will be called a hyperplane, we don't know how it looks, but it will be only one. Yeah. So human minds can imagine only three dimensions. But suppose they go beyond three dimensions, there also the linear models work. Those planes are called hyperplanes. Hyperplanes, how do they look, we can't imagine. So we don't know that, but they will also be one single plane. And there will be no ups and downs, no curves, nothing. It will be straight plane. What do you mean by straight plane in four dimensions? No idea. It will have the same properties as the properties of a plane in three dimensions. So these x1 and x2 need to be in the same plane or it can be in a different plane? Like x1 is in one plane and x2 in different plane, is it possible? They will be in the same plane. Yes. They can't be in different planes. Okay. Right? And Actually, uh, x1 is one axis and x2 is another axis. Other axis. And they are like separated with some angle. 90 degrees. This angle in linear models this is a three-dimensional isometric view. This angle is always 90 degrees. We say that they are orthogonal to each other. Look at this laptop. Okay. 
in this laptop now this is my x1 dimension this is my x2 dimension there is a plane this plane is your model this plane is making some angle i can't make it right now i can't right it will make some angle with x1 axis it will make some angle with x2 axis this is my m2 this is my m1 so at what angle the plane is to x2 and x1 will decide the value of y okay in this case the value of c will be zero because the plane is touching the y axis y axis is perpendicular like this it's touching the y axis at the origin the zero point so imagine i can remove this if this was a yoga tablet i could remove this okay and uh, imagine i'm putting it in some angle cutting the y axis at some point then this angle this angle is my m1 m2 the point at which the plane cuts the y axis is my c we cannot imagine beyond three dimensions how the planes will look but they will have the same mathematical properties as a plane in three dimensions a point that you should uh, probably keep in mind it will become useful to you down the line when you do deep learning and so on and so forth the number of dimensions of a model this is the model right now the surface the number of dimensions how many dimensions is this model two dimensions length into breadth the model is only two dimensions the feature space is three dimensions so the number of dimensions in a model will always be one less than the number of dimensions in the feature space right all right um, you can call it anything you like that's not a problem x y z okay that's what i say you want to call it z you call it z it doesn't matter so it just replaces with z basically these are independent variables this is the target variable so we are trying to understand how the target variable is influenced by these uh, uh, say you have three uh, x1 x2 x3 so how in that case uh, the model dimension will be so still the model life will be two only right? no x1 x2 x3 are three independent variables so therefore on target variable also no? yes. so that makes it four like four variables that is four four dimensions. four dimensions so what is the dimension of the model model will be three dimension in that case i mean however it looks i don't know how it will be how will it look it will have three three uh, edges we don't know how to, how it looks so that's why we don't talk about it but the properties of that model will be similar to properties of a plane a line so on and so forth that is what the algorithms assume all the algorithms assume that your independent variables okay suppose you have a data frame in the data frame you have multiple columns these are independent variables iv1 iv2 iv3 and this is my target all algorithms assume that independent variables are independent of each other they don't influence each other they only influence the target that's what they assume but in real world that is not true suppose i want to predict miles per gallon of a car given the weight of the car given the horsepower of the car we know that they are related so we can build a model but we also know that horsepower and weight are also related to each other more the weight of the car more the horsepower 